Hi guys, welcome to Night School. Today I'm going to show you how to do a fast castle into cavalry archers. Okay, so if you enjoy Age of Empires 2 content, you're looking to improve the game, or you're just interested in learning build orders, then start now by subscribing and hitting the bell icon so that you're notified of any new uploads. Okay, so cavalry archers, fast castle and cavalry archers. So normal start with two uh, houses with starting villagers, send them to sheep. Any new villagers will come out and go to sheep as well. And following on from that, the first or the next four villagers, once you've got six on sheep, are going to go to wood with a lumber camp. So um, it's one of those. Uh, build orders that uh, I see people request quite a lot and I've actually had some people uh, request this particular build order uh, for the channel which is um, pretty much the reason why I've made it this is uh, this channel is very much for you get, uh, yourselves and uh, not necessarily for me um, so that's why I decided to make it but in uh, in all honesty you can't really find this build order anywhere it's purely because uh, or, well, I've not seen one anyway, but it's purely because it's <laughs> it's not very good. It's not a very good tactic, uh, basically. Um, I'll go into more detail about that later on. But uh, certainly, at, you know, mid to high level um, elo, you, you, it's not really a very good tactic at all, uh, or a good build order to do. So um, that's probably why you don't find anything. Um, around this particular build order but as I say we'll speak about that a little bit later um, but for now uh, we're just getting the third villager onto the wood and we're just going to wait for another one to come out and uh, all the time just keep scouting your map with your scout and also with the sheep if possible just to try and get as much map information as possible and uh, finding all those resources that you need such as your other sheep and where your gold and stone placements are so now we've got the four on wood. Next village is going to go out and uh, lure a boar and bring it back to the town centre. I kind of messed up there. <laughs> Luckily the boar weren't uh, far away from there. When the next village has come out, it's going to make two houses and then go over to the villagers, um, berries, and then uh, the next villager after that is going to go to the berries as well. It's actually going to be the next four villages are going to go to the berries. So by the time those houses are done and the villages from, uh, have gone to the berries, we're going to have five on berries. But just whilst uh, these berry villages are being made, you will want to take an existing villager from your boar and go and lure the second boar and bring it back to your town centre. As you can see now on the minimap, we've uh, found all of our resources that we need. We've got the uh, the golds, the stones. It's actually a really good map, actually. Everything's at the back, and it's pretty wallable as well. Um, but we are scouting the enemy. We'll just try and find as much information from the, about their base as possible. So here's where we're going to lure the ball. And your next uh, two villagers to come out are also going to go to the ball. And what we're going to do is make two farms with those weakened villagers. Not the best ball placement. So one more to bore. There we go. And then we should, there we go, make two farms with those two weakened villagers who did the ball or in. And then the next six villagers are going to go out and go to the wood. So we're going to send one over to here. So there's five on that lumber camp, and then the next five to come out are going to go over to here and build another lumber camp. So we'll have five on each lumber camp. So it's better than sort of just overcrowding this one because it's just a lot more efficient. So once the boar's done, we're just going to start uh, splitting those guys up onto onto the sheep. So we'll have three on one sheep, four on another. On another.
do get a house at this point otherwise you'll uh, end up getting housed which is not what we want do, we don't want to be delayed in, uh, in what we're doing Uh, just two more to come out now so yeah um, this is one that's been requested uh, a couple of times I've seen it in the comments on other videos um, so I figured I should uh, definitely get on and, and make this uh, make this video for those people who have requested it there's been some other requests which are, are in the pipelines but it's just going around to doing them so the next three villages that come out are going to go to gold um, but then we're going to click loom and then we'll uh, click for the feudal age. So yeah, the reason why I said this isn't a very good strategy. Um, the reason being is, I mean, cav, cav arches are really something you want to transition into um, towards sort of mid to mid to late castle age. Um, the reason for that is there's just too much to research to get them fully upgraded and get them to be an actually decent unit to use okay so we're going to make four farms with uh, those villages that were there and then these ones that are just finishing off the uh, sheep those three they're going to make two more farms and one of them is going to go over to gold um, so yeah the, the thing with these if you want to get them fully upgraded it's going to take you forever so you've not only got your, your blacksmith techs for your um, archers that you'll be researching but then you've got your stables so cavalry archers are affected by stable technologies obviously being um, you know, cavalry units uh, so that includes bloodlines and husbandry which are both very important technologies um, but not only have you got that and your blacksmith technologies you've also got your archer technologies so you've got thumb ring and uh, you know things like that so it's going to be quite uh, it's just too much of a drain on resources um, and you just won't have enough early castle age to be able to get all of these um, resources uh, upgrade so it's quite difficult because you've got ballistics as well that you need to get from the university um, so it's quite difficult to get everything that you need so as you can see I made a house and a uh, barracks or just the barracks, I don't think I made the house. Um, so as soon as Castage come in, we're gonna make an archery range and a blacksmith straight away, and the next two villages to come out are gonna to go to gold. And then as soon as uh, that's all happened, as soon as these buildings are made, we should be able to click up to the castle age. Now at this point, just keep an eye on your food. Uh, if you get up to 900, uh, we'll quickly go and uh, click to research double bit axe like so. So then you've got double bit tax coming in before you uh, click up to the castle age. Only if you've got the resources for it though. Okay so we're going to just send that one villager back to the wood and this other one is going to go around um, keep building houses and just sort of walling up really around here. Uh, we're also as you can see in the top left corner we've just researched uh, horse collar as well on the way up. That will give us a decent uh, bit of a boost after a few minutes for the farms so once all these farms have expired we'll be able to do uh, get some farms done that will last a bit longer so berries have now finished so we're sending three of those villages over to gold giving us a total of nine on gold and the other two are going over to wood we also want to make a second range around about this sort of time halfway through castle age just so it's there ready for when you get to the castle age and you can start making the cavalry archers straight away. We're also getting fletch in at this point so we're making an early start on getting those blacksmith upgrades for the cavalry archers just so they've got some upgrades uh, for when we hit the castle age. Like so. Um, so yeah I mean aside from having to do all the, all of these you know technologies that you've got to research they're not really that good in um, in early castellation you know until you've got all of those 
um, technologies, they're not that great. Okay, so at this point you want to research bow saw uh, from the lumber camps and you're also starting to make cavalry archers now. And um, the next four villages that come out are going to go to wood. Just make sure you've got enough uh, of an economy on wood to maintain that production and perhaps start looking at keep um, you know, building houses, potentially start looking at placing town centres uh, and things like that. And as I say, you do need to get a stable at some point as well. And we also need to start keeping uh, farm production going. So um, we do need those extra villages. As you can see, the enemy is coming out with some uh, archers at this point, but uh, still making cavalry archers. Still got plenty of resources in the bank to keep maintaining the production of those. Uh, we are getting Bodkin Arrow at the moment, so we're getting this next upgrade for the uh, for the cavalry archers there. So once you've got your four on wood, it's pretty much just a case of um, start getting down the. Uh, farms really I mean you may not even need four on wood you could probably do it with um, two or three perhaps because if you can see we're still floating quite a lot of wood so we probably could have got some farms down a little bit sooner um, and it just might help us in getting thumb ring so with the cavalry archers thumb ring it's very very important I probably could have um, prioritized thumb ring a little bit earlier than I have done uh, so perhaps instead of I mean to be honest I'd probably say instead of bodkin arrow personally because the cavalry archers fire so slowly they need the, th the thumb ring upgrade uh, to be able to make them you know a bit better I mean it's, it's really quite a slow um, firing unit so thumb ring is important so you probably get more shots off and cause more damage by a bit having that increased fire rate than you would with the one um, extra uh, range and uh, attack I don't know let me know in the comments what you think have a discussion about it um, but yeah on the whole it's not a great a great uh, tactic not certainly one I wouldn't necessarily recommend what I'd probably recommend is going in uh, doing a fast castle into knights and then um, to, you know a bit later on once you've been able to get a bit of a boom going with your economy which I don't do in this video it's purely just to show you um, how to keep maintaining production of the cavalry archers um, we've got bloodlines coming in now, so we started to get those uh, cavalry attacks as well. Um, but uh, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Something about getting uh, getting town centres down, wasn't it? Can't remember. Totally forgot. <laughs> I got distracted by bloodlines. Um, so yeah. Anyway, you just want to keep adding farms at this point. Keep booming your economy going in doing some raiding um, oh yeah that was it do a fast castle into knights and then transition into uh, cavalry archers a bit later on uh, towards the back end of the uh, um, castle age just because that gives you a bit of time to get all of the upgrades that you need before you start investing into these because these can be quite uh, countered quite easily by skirmishers um, very easily in fact um, so it's best to probably go for knights and then uh, transition as I say into these later once you've got the upgrades and they're a bit more powerful and not quite as uh, quite as flimsy but as you can see they are doing a pretty decent job at this point I've got husband husbandry coming in now as well so they're gonna be a bit quicker um, not sure if I got thumb ring yet I didn't see it pop up but Still maintaining uh, production of the cavalry archers, still just going around the base doing some raiding. So they are pretty good in that aspect that they're a lot more mobile, especially now they've got husbandry and um, you know they can really just do lots of hit and run, hit and run sort of attacks on the uh, enemy base here. So I'm also just pushing them off this wood line with these few here as well. Um, we do manage to keep the skirmishes at bay a little bit. And uh, we're now getting wheelbarrow as well, but uh, yeah, in a, in a proper game, you, you'd be better off trying to get some more town centres down uh, by now and trying to really boom your economy up. But uh, for demonstration purposes of uh, how to do the the, uh, the rush, that's what we're doing. So more cavalry archers coming out. They do um, actually create a lot slower as well. So if you want to go for a ranged unit, you're better off going for crossbows. Uh, and then potentially again into uh, cavalry archers later on in the game once you've already got all of your um, 
crossbow or archer upgrades then you can just make a stable and uh, you know get things like bloodlines and uh, husbandry a bit later on uh, should you wish but uh, yeah with this one it's just really hard to to be able to get your stable down your ranges your university get thumb ring get ballistics get all the archer upgrades get all the stable upgrades um, yeah, it's just too much it's just too much so that's why you don't see this build order anywhere um, but it can be done as you can see and we've got nice uh, mass of them together now um, they're not very accurate either I noticed when I was doing this game when you do actually get ballistics our thumb rings coming in now so we should have um, faster fire rate soon they're quite clunky to to micro these until they've got thumb ring you know you you, you want to be doing these hit and run tactics but um, you know if you micro in um, it's just quite clunky like you think you're firing you know you think that you're clicking fast enough to uh, micro them as you would with archers but they're just they're just they haven't fired by the time you've <laughs> done the next click so um, and I do find as well even with ballistics that they're still not they're not really that accurate when they're shooting um, against moving targets. Uh, There's quite a few occasions when I was test testing this out and I was just missing all the time, or you know, a lot, not all the time, but a hell of a lot. Uh, but as you can see, still, still maintaining production of the cavalry archers. Um, so that's um, going to be it for this one, then, guys, just to show you how it's done. Um, if you're happy with what you've seen and you want to see more builders do hit the subscribe button and also like and comment on the channel I'd be interested to know what you think to this one and uh, whether you would uh, use this one yourself and um, I'll see you on the next one